Hello. So my name's Lauren and today we are going to do Pilates. For your props, you'll need a squish ball. And if you have one, a thigh band, so a 360 band. Uh, if you don't have these props, don't worry about it. Just do the workout without um, the use of the props. Also, if you need to modify, please feel free to do so, whether that means using the props, not using the props, changing the exercises, do what feels best in your body for today. Uh, another thing, so today, I don't know about you, but my low back has not been feeling great. So we're going to do a low back um, strengthening and relief workout. Hopefully we can get some glute engagement, we can get some low belly engagement, so that it can help protect our low back health. So with that, let's get started. So let's all start lying on our backs. Have your props nearby. And let's start with our feet flat on the mat. And let's bring our awareness to our breath and our belly. So first I'd like you to place your right hand on your belly, your left hand on your heart. And as you inhale, feel the space expand. And as you exhale, feel everything lower down. Inhaling through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Just be coming aware of your body. How does it feel today? Do you feel aligned or do you feel a little bit off? Is one hip raising higher than the other? What's happening? Arriving on your mat, taking the next 30 to 40 minutes for yourself. This is your time. Now bringing some gentle movement into this. Slide your hands under your low back. And as you inhale, I want you to arch your back away from your hands. And as you exhale, press into your hands. Inhale, arch up and away. Exhale through your mouth and press down into your hands. Now as you exhale, I want you to feel that low belly really engage. Now on your next exhale, I'd like you to hold that contraction. Slide your hands out from under you and as you inhale, keep that contraction. So this is called your imprint. It should feel like the tip of your hip is really close to the tip of your ribs. Now as you exhale, release a little bit. Come into a neutral spine. Your low belly is still engaged, okay? Your back is an overarching, okay? All your core is holding your back in place. Now, inhale, open one knee up to the sides, lengthen it along, knee faces up, exhale, pull it back in. Again, open, and then pull it back in. Just incorporating that movement with your breath and not allowing that opposite way to move. One more. Now change sides. Open the other leg out to the side. Straighten it. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull it back in. Beautiful. Let's do one more. Here we go. Once it comes back in, I'd like you to inhale. Right leg up, exhale, left leg up. Now, keep that core engaged, right? Hands stay down, inhale, tap the right toes, exhale, pull it back up. Inhale, tap the left, exhale, pull it back up. Yes, keeping that movement from the hip, not in your knees. So your angle of your knees is the same as you use your core to pull that leg back up. Now, reach your hands over your shoulders. Keep that movement going. Opposite arm to opposite leg, lengthen. Exhale, pull it back in. Starting to feel that gentle incorporation of the core. It's starting to work. Now, as you drop your arm behind you, be aware that your ribs aren't popping. For four, I'm going to count in pairs. Three. Two. Last one each side. Bring it into center. Grab that switch ball, place it between your knees. I want you to squeeze that switch ball. Engage that inner thigh. Inhale. Open arms and legs. Exhale, pull back in. Think of a 
length, not height, and there's no arch in that low back, okay? It's your core controlling you. For another three, two, one. Bring it in. Keep that squeeze ball where it is. Release your feet down. Release your hands down. Now, with that squish ball, maybe you're gonna adjust it so that it's below your knee, between your thighs. By below your knee, I mean actually above your knee if you were standing. And start to squeeze in and then release. Just a little squeeze and a little release. Just waking up that inner thigh. Feeling good? I hope so. Your glutes are about to get a little wake up here. So squeeze in that squish ball. And as you inhale, I want you to hit your imprint. So getting into that point where that tip of that hip and that rib are closer. And as you exhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time, hold at the top, inhale. And as you exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Reset, inhale, hit that imprint, exhale, roll up. Does anybody else find that high rise legs actually somehow hit you where those low rise leggings used to? I just never find like they're high enough for what I'm looking for. They always kind of like slide down. And then they get stuck at my waist, but it looks like I have like low riding jeans, like that look, but with leggings. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> the next time you're up, hold it. Now squeeze that squish ball. Are you pressing evenly through all your toes? I hope so. Keep that squish ball squeezed. Inhale, drop your hips to hover. Exhale, press up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, press. Now raise your hands over your shoulders. The next time your hips come up, press your hands towards the mat. Just getting a slight rotation in the shoulder. Are we breathing? Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. For three, two, one. Hold it up, hands stay down. Now I want you to pop those heels up and lower. Pop them, lower them. Now as you pop them, your hips are staying high. So pull that low belly in, it should still be engaged. Three, in two, I want you to hold those heels up and one, hold them up. Now, just little pulses of the hips. Oh, we're getting juicy. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, drop those heels. Now, dip those hips to a hover, exhale, press up. Are you still pushing evenly with both feet? I hope so, keep that core engaged, without our arms. and bring it behind your right leg. Lying on your bicep. Now, that right leg, lift and lower, lift and lower. Maybe you're pressed up a little bit onto that side of your bum so that you can get a nicer range of motion, but this shouldn't hurt. If it does, and it's your hip, fold over your mat a couple times so you can get a bit of extra cushion. Here we go, hold it up, circle. Four, 
reverse. Hold it, pulse, up and down. Three, two, and one. Lower that leg all the way down. Take that squish ball this time. You can stay in this position if you don't have a squish ball or you don't want to use it. But if you have that squish ball, I want you to take that left leg, place it onto the squish ball, drop that left foot down. We're back on that right leg. Ready, lift, lower. How does that feel now? Here we go, little circles. Reverse. Hold it up, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it all the way down. Now I want you to bring that right leg in, stack your left leg on top. Heels are in line with your hip. Top hands, bring it to that top hip. Now just open that top knee and drop it down. Oh, did you get a little pop? I got a little pop. Okay, so we're gonna do this clamshell twice. I want you to really become aware of how it feels before that side bum is woken up. Okay, it kind of feels like a little bit useless, right? Like this is that exercise in physio that we get and we're like, oh, we're supposed to do it, but like, is it really doing anything? It is, okay? It is doing something. I'm gonna show you why. Now, drop it down, hold it up, straighten out that leg. Now, your right leg's helping you balance, right? Now start lifting and lowering. So I want you to point to lift, flex to lower. I want you to hold it at hip height and draw some circles. What's happening with that belly? Pull it in, keep it engaged. Reverse. Beautiful. Hold it up a little bit. Now, I want you to sweep that leg back. Don't hyperextend your back. Pull that belly in and let's go lift. Hold it, draw some circles. Yeah, that foot is still behind your hip. Pull that low belly in. Reverse. Hold it, bring it back, drop it back down. I want you to flip onto your stomach. You have that squish ball, place your hands on top of it. Feet stay down, toes together. Take an inhale. Now, if this doesn't feel good on your low back, try separating your feet. That might feel better. Inhale, as you exhale, start to roll up, and then lower back down. Again, up, lower back down. Now, we like to do this when our low back is sore because we feel like, oh, it's releasing it. It really isn't doing that much of releasing. It is compressing your vertebrae. But we're doing this to warm up for some back exercises. Beautiful, now lower all the way down, and I want you to squish that ball between your hands. Now feet, they're about hip distance apart now. Okay, this should feel good on your low back. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to lift your arms and legs up, and lower down. If this feels like too much, let go of the squish ball and just lift opposite arm to opposite leg one at a time. Your gaze should be at the front of your mat. Two more. Last one, hold it up. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Shift your hips around a little bit, okay? This is going to massage your low back. Beautiful. Now, 
Hands on your shoulders. Press up and back to a shell pose. Hands on your knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Now, option one, plank from your knees. Option two, plank from your toes. But I want everybody up and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and on one. I want you to take that right arm. I want you to make it parallel to the front of the mat. Open up, side plank. You can be from your knee or the side of your foot, whatever's your pleasure for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to that front plank. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going back to that right side. It's the same side. Open for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down to your knees, lower into a shell. Hands on your knees, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Grabbing that squish ball. Bring yourself onto your back. Now, take an inhale, and as you exhale, lift your hips up. Taking that squish ball, place it under your sacrum. So that's that triangular shaped bone right at the base or at the top of your butt crack. Okay, if this doesn't feel good on your low back, get rid of the squish ball, it's not worth it. Inhale, right leg up, exhale, left leg up. Find your balance, wiggle, 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 right? That wiggle and forcing ourselves to balance through it is what's working on low belly. Hands up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Back to this, you've done this. You did this right at the beginning. You can do this again. Remember that breath. Inhale to open, exhale to pull everything in. Beautiful. The next time your right leg is long, I want you to hold that long. Now lift that leg, flex to lower. Go slow so you can keep your balance. Hold it long and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. Left leg long. Let's point to lift. Flex to lower. What's happening to that right leg? It's staying stable, right? Right. <laughs> How many times can we say right when we're talking about the right leg? Okay. Hold it long. Pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Release those feet down. Lift those hips. Take that squish ball, hold it in your hand. Now, I want you to dip those hips down, hand goes behind your head. Exhale, pull it up. Squish that ball between your hands. What is happening to that low belly? Pull it in, keep it engaged. What's happening to your knees? They're tracking, they are not separating. Remember that? In now it's invisible with the squish ball between your knees. Now hold it up. Pop those heels up. Hold those heels up. Give me a little pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Drop those heels. Lower all the way down. Keep that squish ball with you, but roll onto your left side. Head on your bicep, bring that right leg behind you. Maybe you're gonna roll slightly over onto that left hip. You know where you're going. Lift, lower. Hold it, circle. Speak 
this band. Were you wondering when that was gonna come in? I've been waiting for it. I can't, I don't know if you noticed, but I kept staring at it, going like, ah, oh, it's coming. You're gonna take this band, you're gonna place it above your knees. Now try to get that band as neat as you can, because you don't want it digging into you any more than it already is. Now I've had, I'm just gonna stop for a second and, and state this. I've had some people um, email me um, about what props I use. So now if you're curious and you're like, I really do want these props or you know, I don't really like the props I have and I think I may like the options Lauren uses um, better, please feel free to email me. My email is lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N dot Lawson, L-A-W-S-O-N at trifit, T-R-I-F-I-T dot com. And I can help you out. So bring yourself back. And I want your feet this time mat distance apart. Toes pointed slightly out. Your knees are wide. Take an inhale and as you exhale, lift those hips up. So we want pressure on that band, right? Yes, that's where the work happens. Dip those hips, exhale, press. Hold it up. Now, I want you to come up onto your heels, so you're popping your toes up, and I want you to separate your knees wide, wide. So the little pulses out, we're waking up that outer bum area for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower those toes, lower those hips. Bring the soles of your feet together. So we're going into something called a frog pop, the most awkward move you'll ever do. Knees wide, pressing into the sides of your feet. Exhale, lift, pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going for another eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Bring your legs together, flip on to that right side. I was on my left, but I'm going to flip on to, sorry, not your right side, flip on to your left side. <sighs> on your bicep. Now, get into that clamshell again. So set up your knees, set up your heels so they're in line with your hips. Now open that top knee and then lower it. Doesn't that feel different? We got some tension, we've got that muscle awake. It's gonna get fun. It's about to get wild. Lower it down, straighten out both legs. Lift that top, lower it. Now, why do we do this? Don't do this, by the way. Don't put your hand here. I'm just gonna do this for a second. Um, why do we do side of bum to help our low back? Because it protects it. By keeping our hips in proper alignment, our back is in better alignment. Yeah, I'm gonna want some circles. Let's go, circle. Reverse. Four, three, two, pulse it up. Hold it, drop it down, tap it out if you want. Tap it out, tap it out, tap it out. And right away, we're gonna flip onto that right side. Into that clamshell, set up, and then lift and lower. Straighten out those legs completely and go right into that lift. Yes. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and let's go, circle. Reverse. Pulse up. And one, lower it. Tap it out if you'd like. Now, I'm just gonna straighten out my band because it's gotten a little funky with my flipping around. Flip onto your stomach. We're gonna go back into that plank. Are we ready? Press up, hold your plank. Squeeze your bum. Now, one at a time, tap your feet out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Legs in. Now, I want you to shift forward and back. Just a little bit. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down to your knees, sit back into a shell. Hands on your knees, roll up. Ha! Ready? We're gonna do a little bit more core work just to finish off. So flip onto your bum, take that band off. Bring yourselves onto your backs, knees in. Give a little shift side to side. Pulling that low belly in as you prepare. Come to center. Inhale, head and shoulders up. Single leg stretch, ready. Reaching for the outside of that ankle. Your chin is tucked. You have that C curve at your neck for eight, seven, six, five, four, and three. We go to our double. Last one single. Let's do it. Open. Bring it in. Push that low belly down as you straighten those legs. Four, three, two, last one, last one. Bring it in, release your head and shoulders down. Give a little shift side to side. Come to center. Holding that right leg in, straighten out that left leg. Give a little shift side to side. Maybe a little hug. Maybe you're gonna draw little circles. If you're drawing circles, make sure you keep it even and you go the opposite way as well. Hold it in center, flex that right foot and see if you can do a half happy baby. But we're gonna to try to keep that left leg down. Take another two full breaths. Gently start to release that leg. Bring that left leg up and cross the right leg over. Grab behind the left leg and come into a thread the needle. Gently release, straighten out that right leg, hugging that left leg in. 
Give a little rock side to side, those gentle movements. Maybe you're just gonna hug it in. Maybe you'll draw circles. Maybe you'll go the other direction. When you're ready, flexing that left foot and maybe you're going to come into a half happy baby. Take another two big breaths here. And gently starting to release that stretch, but bending that right leg and placing that left thigh or left ankle onto the right thigh and coming into your thread the needle. by your right side and you're going to roll right over onto your right side. Press yourself up. Thank you for taking this time for your mind, for your body, for your soul. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.